I'm Kathy Zhang, a self-taught watercolor artist, and I started painting in 2015. I followed the conventional path and did the stable 9-to-5 thing for over 10 years before I decided to venture out on my own and make a living from my creativity. I'm here to share what I learned. Hi everyone, it's Kathy. And it's Nam. Welcome to another episode of our YouTube videos. In this video, we're going to show you how to package the art prints for online orders. We have all the materials we need here in front of you, and we're going to show you an example of how we package a smaller print and a larger print. This is an 8x10 art print, uh, and we're going to show you how to package it for shipment. For 8x10 art prints, we obviously need the print. We need a rigid backboard. Uh, we need something to identify the business so that the customer can come back to our site. We need a clear cellulose sleeve to hold the print. And finally, we need a rigid envelope to add uh, extra protection during shipment. So we'll show you how it's done. Um, for this art print, we're going to place it against this backboard. You can get backboard, actually you can get all the materials on Amazon for a pretty reasonable price. Obviously, except the print itself. And uh, make sure that the backboard is the same size, if you can find it, to match the size of your art print so that it's it, they just neatly fit next to each other. And as, as mentioned, I put my business card behind the backboard that shows my social media uh, and my website, just something really, sim something really simple um, to remember, for the customers to remember me by. And we'll insert this in the clear cellulose sleeve. One thing to keep in mind is when you shop for a clear cellulose sleeve, uh, let's say this is a 8x10 print, make sure that the sleeve size is slightly larger than the print itself, otherwise it's going to fit really snug or not really fit at all. So this one is measured, I think, 8 and a quarter and uh, by 10 and a quarter or something. You'll see that um, there's an obvious size on Amazon that fits the closest size that you're, that you're packaging. Uh, another little tip is that um, once you start um, purchasing more and more um, cellulose sleeves and backboards, uh, if you go to the Amazon seller, you can um, order directly from that seller's website as opposed to Amazon. So you can buy larger, um, larger quantities and it'll be a cheaper overall price. Yeah, Amazon Prime is great with free shipping and fast shipping and everything, but sometimes even when you're paying for shipping um, at the seller's site owns website, it still ends up being cheaper. So next, we'll move on to packaging for for shipping. Um, so this is a rigid envelope, and what we usually do is put a stamp for do not bend on each side. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I'm sure it doesn't hurt. <laughs> and, and then we'll insert this print. If you wanted to add personal touch to the print, uh, you can package it a little more special. In my case, sometimes I would add uh, twine, tie twine around the print like this. I'll attach maybe a thank you card. Uh, when I started, when I started the business, or and I wasn't getting too many orders, I would add a lot more of these personal touches, but um, recently, especially during the holidays when things are so busy, um, I'm not as thoughtful, I guess, with the print. So this is kind of the basic, but still pretty way of packaging it. Uh, I can add a sticker or I write a thank you or a, a handwritten thank you note. And then we'll insert this inside the rigid envelope. This is a 9 by 12 rigid envelope for 8 by 10 prints. Uh, I think that's the standard size. And How many prints can you usually fit inside a mailing? Um, if someone's buying two or three prints, I actually just end up inserting them into the same backboard. So it's not as thick because if you have three of these, it really stuffs the envelope and I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. Uh, but if they're 
buying like four or five prints, then I upgrade the size of the envelope to a bigger one. And the shipping cost is slightly more, but it's not too bad. And no, we're not going to seal this one, but let's just pretend it's sealed. And last step is to add the address label. So earlier we showed you um, how we printed out the shipping label on a sticker label with our shipping, uh, with our label printer. And now we'll just... Stick this label on. Ta-da! It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And then we also have our personalized stamps too. <laughs> so oh yeah, can this show is our, you. I can show you our personalized stamp for a slightly larger print. So this is 11 by 14, which is still small enough to fit a, a rigid envelope and lay flat. I think anything bigger than that, it gets tricky. Uh, even if you add backboards to a, a larger print, I think it still risks getting bent. Uh, there are a, maybe once or twice where the 11 by 14 print was bent, but it didn't happen so often that I still will prefer shipping 11 by 14 this way. So for 11 by 14 prints, I ship them in a 12 by 15 rigid envelope. And just like before, I add a little do not bend stamp in the front and the back. This is a little custom stamp I made out of my yoga pick. This is uh, the custom stamp. And well, you know the rest. I'm not going to put it in for you, but it's basically the same step. And lastly, we're going to package a large print. This is a 16 by 20 alphabet print that I made. For this print, I'm not going to ship it flat. The most economical and protective way of shipping this is to ship it in a mailing tube. So this is an 18, 18 inch long by three inch wide mailing tube. And where did we got it from um, Uline? Uline, yep, Uline.com. They come in different lengths. Uh, I used to ship them in 16, uh, 16 inch prints when I was, uh, 16 inch tubes, but now I just buy them in 18, um, just to cover all my bases. So, so before we insert, or before we roll this print up to put inside the tube, want to make sure that it has extra protection. Obviously, we can't put a backboard to this, but we can roll it in a craft paper. And you know, craft paper is the most, again, the most economical way of adding protection to this this large art print. So uh, I've torn a piece of craft paper from my craft paper dispenser. And it's just slightly bigger all around. I kind of eyeball the size to make sure that it's at least as big as the print. And I just slowly roll it up from the short side. So the short side is the 16 inch side and I make sure I roll it up from the short side. And do it carefully, make sure it's not bent. And when you do this long enough, you'll kind of get an idea of how tight you should roll it so it still fits the two, but um, it shouldn't be so narrow that that it's like half the length or half the size or something. And with, before I put in the print, I would close out the two from one end with this lid. And you can also get the lids on Uline. Make sure that you buy them separately uh, in addition to the tubes. And once it's closed, I roll up the print. And next, I can either add a sticker or two to secure the roll. But if you don't have a sticker or don't want to use a sticker, you can also use this twine. 
And again, it's a little awkward to do it by yourself at first, but you get the hang of it and you can ask for help if you need to, if you have someone nearby to help you. But I'm, I've am i gotten used to it by now. I can do it without the sticker. Um, I actually end up doing both just for extra reinforcement. And then I just slowly fold in, carefully fold in the corner, or I should say the edges of the craft paper, where I had that extra piece of craft paper hanging out. And there you go. Um, I also insert my own business card in here, or I'll tie it to the twine. But in this case, we'll skip that step. I will insert it in. And you'll see that you know, this is an 18 inch tube and the print is 16 inch, so I have a little bit of gap. If I don't, if I close this lid as is, it tends to roll around in shipment and sometimes it gets damaged. So I'll make sure I add a little, some kind of filler, like a piece of paper, a bubble wrap or something. And you close the lid and you're ready to go. Oh, I also add a tape on both sides to for extra reinforcement. And similar to before, you can just add a shipping label on top of uh, outside the, the mailing tube. And um, the shipping cost for mailing this, it's pretty similar to a larger uh, rigid envelope. Yeah. And that's it. Last thing I wanna show you is this scale. It's a postal scale that we use to weigh our packages, our prints. It's a it's an AWS Posto. I don't know if there's a model number, but that's what it says. And it's a digital scale, so we can place our prints, packaged prints, on top of the scale, and it'll show how much it weighs. In this case, it weighs nine ounces, which cost around $350 to ship via USPS. Uh, so it's relatively economical. And that's it for our video on packaging our art prints for shipment. Let me know, leave a comment if you have questions, and we hope it was helpful.